video cakes. They're pretty neat. Here's a few of mine. A while ago, I did a tutorial on Instagram about how to tape with these things. Kind of like you do with cassettes. I told myself since then I would make a better one. Time got away from me. But better late than never, so here we go. This seems like a good candidate. The first step is to open the shell. There's a specific way to do this. Flip it upside down, unscrew all five screws, then flip it back right side up and take the top off. There's this little leaf spring in there. If you open it up upside down, this happens. The reels don't sit in place and all the bits fall out. Not fun. There's three basic parts to this. The reels, the loop, and the shell. I start with the loop. Cut out a long piece of tape from your reels. You want more than you think. With cassette tapes, there are set measurements for various loop configurations. That does not work here, as the VCR has to pull tape out of the shell, unlike cassette tapes, which are always contained in their shell. So cut more than you need, you can always cut back later. For some reason, I move on to the reels without completing my loop, but you are welcome to tape your loop together at this point. Anyway, we need these reels and we need them spliced back together. For splicing, I just use clear packaging tape. Office tape also works. Any clear tape should be fine. Professional splicing tape exists. Use it if you like, but I'm not. If you've seen cassette tape loops before, splicing works exactly the same. Stick the tape on the back, the back side of the tape and tape together. Jeez, say that ten times fast. Cut the edges of the tape as flush as possible. You really want to get as close as you can. Now I come back to the loop. Why I did it in this order, I have no idea. Same deal, trim things nice and flush, splice it together. Just don't accidentally make a Mobius strip, it won't like that. As for the shell, all we need to do is cut two holes into the bottom. There are some support pieces inside that line out two perfect squares to remove. Really, there's a million ways to cut a hole. Just do what you feel comfortable with. VHS plastic isn't terribly strong and only has a slight tendency to shatter. I end up scoring it with a razor blade and cutting into it with some scissors. And that's everything we need to do. Now it's time to reassemble. Put the two reels inside, but make sure they're situated in this way so the tape still moves between the two. This is dummy tape. If this isn't here, the VCR will spit this thing out immediately. I can't tell you why. I'm not an expert. If somebody knows why this happens, leave it in the comments. Feed the loop in through the pins at the top, just like it would be on a normal VHS tape. Run them on top of the reels inside, down through the holes into the bottom. Then put the top back on, flip it over, and put the screws back in. You don't need that top flap on the thing. It actually kind of gets in the way. I would advise to leave it off. You can put it back on if you like, but I, I don't. I just leave it on. It's, it's, you don't need it.
Now, to play this monstrosity, whew, you're probably going to need to take the front cover off of your VCR. Each model does this a little different. For me, it was just a few screws. Your mileage may vary. Loading goes oof, kind of like this. Yeah, it's not exactly graceful. In fact, this whole operation is very touchy. Tape tension is going to be your number one enemy here. You can use an object as a pivot point, like the spray can. It's better than trying to feed it with your fingers. <laughs> Similar to cassette tape, if you stick a piece of tape over this cutout here, you can record onto it. Here's an example showing recording from my PlayStation 2. Rest in peace, Dave Mira. Oh yeah, the tape might try to eat whatever object it's pivoting it on. You just gotta fight it. It's got a mind of its own, really. Hopefully this is a better source to look at than my original Instagram post, in that this can open a larger discussion about this, why it works, and how to do it better. Everything I've shown today is just what I've figured out on my own. I have no background in electronics or anything close to this. It's very possible there are better ways that I just don't know about. If you have any ideas, please leave it in the comments and maybe I'll do a follow-up if anything comes together. Thank you.